Barb makes things. One thing we emphasize at Tinkering School LA is clamping your work. Wobbly materials are tough to work with. Sometimes it's easy to clamp. Two squeeze clamps will make this secure. But what about this? Or this? Or this? Perhaps you're lucky enough to have a vise or special equipment like this corner clamp. But if not, you aren't out of luck. Let's do some creative clamping. Some methods of clamping are more secure than others. This, for example, won't hold these together if you want to attach them. This will. Using other blocks of wood and multiple clamps, you can make all kinds of things secure. Don't have a corner clamp? No problem. Grab a spare block and clamp it to both parts. Now you can clamp it to the table and screw in from the side. How about attaching a pole in the middle of a bigger piece of plywood? You could toenail it, but that won't always make for the strongest connection. Instead, use some scrap wood that's long enough to reach across and clamp it to both pieces. Clamp it all to the table and you're ready to go. Clamping dowels or PVC pipes can be a challenge. They roll, they don't like to stay still. You can clamp them up in a vise or create a jig like this one with a V that keeps them from rolling away. This one can be especially tough without an adjustable angle clamp. But if I hang on to the scraps of wood I made while cutting this piece, I can use them to help make everything stay in place. This clamping jig is very handy for making hexagons. I made it using a miter saw set to 30 degrees. You can hold similarly cut pieces in place with this while attaching them. We used it during summer tinkering camp to create a frame for a giant Pikachu. Since it was so useful, we hung onto it and used it later to create the frame for a giant shark. Remember, just about anything can be done with a little creative clamping. Thanks for watching Barb Makes Things. Be sure to subscribe for new videos every Tuesday.